Good morning and welcome back. The sun is shining, we're in a new term and it's time for a new beginning. I hope you've had a restful Easter break and you've come back ready to learn and to really do your best in whatever year group you are in. Now it is important that we do stick to our Covid restrictions even though things are changing nationally. I really want to urge you that I know it's exciting being back in school and I know we're getting more opportunities to see our friends and family that to, it's really tempting to want to shake their hands or to give them a hug. Please don't. I did have to uh, intervene with, with some of you uh, last term when you did try and shake hands with some of your friends from another school. Again, I'm asking you not to do that. It really is important that we keep our community as safe as possible and part of that is keeping to our social distancing. If we all do that, we'll be out of this situation much sooner. So please, please, please do everything you can to keep us all safe. Now, hopefully you have noticed some changes as we've come back. So we have had a lot of work taking place throughout the school. We've got a new heating system. We've had a lot of work completed on the roof. I know this next few weeks is quite slightly difficult because we have to make sure that everywhere is ventilated. So sometimes it's a little bit cold. But please bear with us. Again, it's about keeping us all safe. Year 7, I hope you're really enjoying now being able to be in every single part of the school and that you're enjoying having your lessons in those specialist rooms like the science labs, the DT workshops and the art rooms. Please don't worry if you get a little bit lost. We're all there to help you and making sure that you settle to your timetable as quickly as possible. For those of you that are currently going through lunch, I hope that you're pleased that we've extended our lunch offer and we're back to having that full range of food on offer. So we do have the paninis and the full cold counter as well as the hot counter. Please take a look a bit of time looking at all the different choices so that you get a lunch that you really, really want. We've also, from today, going to open up the prayer room. Now the prayer room is going to be in the main hall because it's got much more space and it's an area that we can ventilate. It's really important though that we do follow COVID restrictions and that means there's a set time for each year group to go to the prayer room. So if you're in year 11, 12 or 13, you need to go to the prayer room between 1 and 1.15. You go to the main hall entrance, you wait there and someone will let you in, either a member of staff or a prefect. And when you go into the main hall itself, it's set out in two sides for different bubbles. So year 12 and year 13 on one side because you're one bubble and year 11 on the other. At 1.15, year 8 and year 7 can then go to the prayer room. And again, just line up outside and we'll show you where to go. At 1.30, it's the time for year 9 and year 10. Please do stick to these times because we'll not be able to let you in unless you're within that 15 minute slot. And we'll keep reviewing those times to make sure we've got enough time for everybody who does want to take up the opportunity to pray during lunchtime. I understand that some of you now, especially in year 11 and year 13, are going a little bit anxious, concerned, because we are looking at that evidence, that final evidence for your teacher assessed grades. Now, the next few weeks, you're all going to be turned to taking some work that's going to go towards those teacher assessed grades. And they're assignments that you're going to be doing in class you're going to be prepared for in lessons before they take place. You're going to have revision schedules and all sorts of information so that you can complete these assignments to the very best of your ability. Some assignments may suit people more than others because all of us are different and we all have a different skill set. So please, if you find one of them difficult, do not worry about it. It's one piece of information. And it won't, even if it's fantastic, or even if it's really, really bad, it won't change the overall picture. Because how we are doing, how we're calculating your grades, are by everything we know about you. So for year 11, it's everything we know in the course, all the way from when you started back in year 9. And for year 13 students, it's from what we know since you started the course in year 12. We will take absolutely everything into account, so your classwork, your homework, how you've answered questions, be it in front of the whole class or just to your teacher or to your peers. 
So any evidence you think we need to know, so something you may have completed at home, some fantastic revision notes, or anything that you think, actually, I'm proud of this and I'd like my teacher to see, please do show it them so that we can see the full picture. I will be sending to your parents a timetable of when these assignments and these class assignments are going to take place. So make sure that you do talk to your parents so they know when they are. And that's going to happen. I'll send that schedule out later today. And then the assignments themselves are going to start later this week. And obviously all the way up to May half term. And I think there's a couple just after May half term as well. Please do your best. But please remember, at the moment, it's also about making sure that your well-being is good. So do not stress about them. And if you feel that you're getting anxious, please talk to someone, either your form tutor, your head of year, any member of staff, and of course you know we advertise those mental health services. So there's Cooth, there's able to speak to one of the safeguarding officers so that you can get some counselling in school. There's lots and lots of different drop-in centres that you can go to. So please do not suffer in silence. Make sure that you do talk to someone. While we're doing these assignments, we are looking at different ways of doing homework. So last term when you returned to us, we had no homework for any year group. Going forward though, we do need to introduce some homework. So year 10 and year 12, you are now going to get homework as part of your course. Because we really need to make sure that you're catching up, ready for you to sit your examinations next year. Year 11 and year 13, you may get some limited homework. But these are only going to be tasks that you need to do to make sure you can do your assignments in class. So you won't get homework in every subject and just because you've got it on one day in one week doesn't mean that next week you're going to get the same. So it will vary. But each piece will be because you need to do it to make sure you can perform your best in class. For year 7, year 8 and year 9, there'll be no homework yet. But don't think you're getting away from it because you will start with homework after May half term in preparation for your examinations which take place at the end of this term. As we're getting back to more normal, I'm really excited that over the next few weeks we'll be able to start offering more clubs and activities and that includes something that I think we've all been missing and that's our sport. So please do look out at the notice boards and the messages because we really want to get back to taking some good competitive uh, matches, uh, particularly on Saturday mornings again. So do look at those notice boards and as soon as we can start, we will be doing so. And finally, because it's a new term and it is a new beginning, I wanted to read a poem to you. Showers of hope. I hope you learn to love yourself through a godly storm, through the shimmers of love, that kissed your crown as you were born. I hope you learn to love everything that makes you whole. The trickles of pain that still echo through your veins and the purpose that kept you going, rebuilding you time and time again. I hope you learn to love the truth of all you are, whether others accept it or fear it from afar. I hope you learn to love everything that makes you you, without diluting your presence or losing your voice just to please others as you walk so gently through. I hope you learn to love your fearless, fiery side, the one that speaks so honestly without worry of reprise. I hope you live a life that you so wonderfully deserve and that you bravely reinvent yourself as often as your soul thunders and stirs. I hope that you learn to love each finality and closed door so you can find a new beginning in sparkly showers of hope as your wings electrify, taking flight to soar. Have a wonderful and successful term. Thank you.